Right, I've got it all tacked together for using my big car boot sail square to get everything nice and true. So it means I can weld in a horizontal position like that. But I can also weld anywhere between there and 90 degrees. So it will turn it to 45 quite comfortably. And you can sit there, that'll be a Probably put an arm without there to rest on because you need to rest when you have TIG welding. And uh, weld, no problem. I'm going to weld this with a TIG and I'll probably do it tomorrow night. I'll bring that camera down and get a decent shot of some TIG welding because this is nice stainless steel, lovely and clean. I'm sure to get a nice pretty weld down there. Might even play around with some pull settings just to, just to change from machining. But you can see now what's starting to, it's starting to take shape. It's, Begin to look like what I thought it would look like. And I've still got a surface plate to go on there as well. And basically it's starting to take shape. This is not easy working on cameras with tripods and what's easy everybody be doing it, wouldn't it? I suppose. It's not too bad for a mechanic that pisses about. It started off good here and then I started to get too much heat in because I couldn't get my hand on for where the camera was. But I can assure you it isn't going to fall off. That's nice there. Nice colours and it starts to get a little bit too hot here. And when it starts to get too hot here you back off or you move faster and I just couldn't get my hand around the side of the camera and anyway it's certainly stuck on.
a lot of stone out to drop the water level inside the, where the waterfall was. And, uh, well, you've got to dig her in there, you know, just wet it. Oh, it's good. <laughs> Once again, it just remains to say thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and as always, thanks for all the well wishes that I've come in towards my dad, my wife, and of course me with the, the bar Anyway, thanks very much.